guys it's rainy so today i thought i would just try for the first time this betty cracker rich and creamy creamy cheese frosting i've seen this in stores like forever but i've never been i don't know i never felt curious to try them if, like if they compared to like homemade frostings because i never saw a, a flavor that i wanted to go for but i saw this cream cheese frosting i love cream cheese and i was gonna make a uh, cream cheese frosting anyways and i thought i would just go ahead and try this one i bought this for this great homemade uh, taste i'm gonna see if that's true two things please excuse my nails they are now short i don't have a manicure right now i'm about to do a new one please excuse this part it's messy because i had a, a situation going on with the container and i have to peel this off it's a thick texture. It's like when you just make your frosting. It's a good texture though. It's not too thick, but it's not too thin. I, I read somewhere that you're supposed to like swirl it so that everything smooths out. So I'm just going to be tasting this. Um, it doesn't taste anything like cream cheese. It tastes more like a vanilla frosting. I never got the cream cheese flavor on this one, which is kind of a bummer. I was expecting a bit more of a cream cheesy frosting, even if it was like artificial flavor. It doesn't taste anything like cream cheese, like at all. Uh, tastes a lot like vanilla, like plain vanilla, but it's not like super sweet. So I wonder what the vanilla one tastes like. It has kind of like a plasticky texture to it when you taste it by itself, but it has like a good consistency, if that makes sense. Like I wish all my buttercreams um, looked this way. Seems easy to work with. And for that, I have two of my friends here, which I'm going to be kind of decorating, kind of testing rather. So for this one, I'm going to be placing some frosting here. When you don't have like piping bags, piping tips, anything, you just have a spoon or a knife. So as you can see, it's easy to decorate. It has a good consistency. It's easy to work with. It's pretty, has a pretty color to it. I'm going to be using my Wilton 1M and I'm going to be making a really simple rose. It has a lovely consistency for this. Looks beautiful. It has to be like the worst rose of all time. But you know what? We're not looking at that now. If this rose was centered, it has like the perfect consistency, I think, for a frosting. I don't know how it will react to the hot weather, the sun, being on a party in summertime. But yeah, as far as for consistency, as far as for piping goes, this is nice. It has like a good consistency. So now I'm going to be tasting this. I'm working with a cake mix that I made into cupcakes. I mean, the plasticky flavor is not as prominent, I guess, now that I have the flavor of my cupcake. If the cupcake is good, you're good to go because kind of it gets lost in there. It doesn't taste anything at all like cream cheese, I swear. Like nothing at all. I feel like I'm eating like a standard vanilla frosting. There's nothing like special about the flavor of this one. And it has like some kind of like um, plasticky or just a fake flavor to it. I don't even want to say store-bought because some store-bought stuff are great for instance in my cake mix is store-bought and it tastes amazing as always i love betty cracker i'm using the same brand for my cake mix and i love like cake mix but i'm really not a fan of the uh, flavor of this frosting but yeah this that got me is kind of like publicity stunt it's not uh, true at all this is a good idea though for when you're either practicing decorating cupcakes and you don't want to waste frosting or recipe or ingredients that are like expensive but if you're practicing this is a good way to go because you can get a lot of frosting and like cupcakes and cakes and decorated with this one so i'd say this is a good idea for when you have found a homemade recipe that is good in taste and it has kind of like the same consistency as this frosting just the same frosting for practice and then just when you are ready to just uh, go for the actual thing the homemade recipe I think it's a good idea to use for when kids want to decorate some cupcakes and cakes and they can just decorate a few without compromising to the whole recipe and just wasting all the products. Or when you're craving a cake or a cupcake and you don't have the tools to make a frosting, you don't want to spend in all the ingredients to make a frosting, you just want something fast and easy to just get the cupcake or cake craving out of your system. It's also a good idea when you are going to a party, it's for a school project, you just need some cupcakes or cakes for display. But 
that nobody's going to be paying much attention to the flavor of the frosting. It's not as important or just you want something easier and faster to do that the flavor of the frosting is not going to be a big deal. This is a good idea to use because it gets the job done, but it's not going to be like super expensive and you don't have to do any work. Waste any product. This crusts, I'm touching this and as you can see, so I think maybe you can pipe some flowers with it. I'm not gonna show you right now because I don't have like my piping tip for that. But yeah, this is this is the consistency of this one. It's kind of like plastic as well. This is a good frosting for decoration. I think when the flavor of the frosting is not as important or just is not gonna be as noticeable, you're maybe using a really good cake recipe and you're gonna have some filling. And again, the decoration is gonna be stunning. That way you can just maybe distract a little bit from the flavor of the frosting. It's not so much the flavor it has, but the feeling of plastic it has. This was actually really easy to clean up. Unlike frostings with butter cream or frostings that require butter, cleaning up is a nightmare because butter is like hard to clean up and with this one I had no issues. It has a good color to it, it has a good consistency, it's really easy to work with, really easy to frost things. It's affordable and you get a lot. If it wasn't for the bad flavor and the bad consistency, this would be a really good frosting. But flavor is kind of a big thing with food. I prefer to just work with homemade. But yeah, I really hope this was helpful and you liked this. Hopefully I wasn't really mean. This is just my honest opinion and hopefully I answered questions if you have like I did and you liked this. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Check out more baking stuff that I have on my channel. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think of this one and share it. But thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye!